look in um, Acts 2 real quick. The question is this. Are there any verses that say Christ moved those in Abraham's bosom to heaven? Some people have said that believers in the Old Testament and believers of the kingdom gospel are still in the heart of the earth. That they never went to the third heaven. Well, first of all, I think that Abraham's bosom is simply that. Abraham's bosom. I, I think that, I, I, know we've come, I know what we mean by that, but I, I think we need to clarify something. Whenever in Luke 16 that Lazarus died and went to Abraham, Abraham welcomed him into paradise with an embrace. Uh, he was comforting him. I don't think there's a whole, I mean, how many people can get in Abraham's bosom? I mean, he must have. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so I'm not trying to be silly. I'm just saying, really, I mean, uh, uh, I've heard those who disagree with our teaching on that try to use that as a point to say we don't know what we're talking about because we keep referring to a place called Abraham's bosom when Abraham's bosom is simply his bosom. And I agree, it is simply his bosom. But there is paradise in the heart of the earth, according to Luke 16 and the teaching of the rich man and Lazarus, and then the thief on the cross, which Brother Jerry referenced here a minute ago, the thief on the cross, Jesus said, today you'll be with me in paradise. Where did Jesus go when he died? The heart of the earth. He was in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. So the question is, will those uh, saints that were in the heart of the earth, are they still there right now? Okay, Acts 2.34, this, this is what they use as a text to prove that they are still in the heart of the earth. Acts 2.34 For David is not ascended into the, into the heavens, but he saith himself, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand till I make thy foes thy footstool. All right? Now, if you follow the context of what he's saying here to Israel as he preaches to them, he's showing that the resurrection of Christ was prophesied in Psalm 16. He's talking about bodily resurrection, and he's proving that Jesus rose bodily from the grave and ascended. And he's proving that wasn't talking about David. That was talking about Jesus Christ. So when he said David is not ascended into the heavens, obviously he means he's not bodily resurrected yet, and he did not bodily ascend into heaven. But look in Hebrews 12, and we'll finish here. Hebrews 12. This is the answer, I think, to the question. We know that paradise was in the heart of the earth until after the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. And then when Paul spoke of paradise in 2 Corinthians 12, he said it was in the third heaven. So because of the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, uh, the saved can be in the third heaven. And in Hebrews 12, verse 22, but ye are come unto Mount Zion. And he's contrasting this with the one on earth. So he's talking about the Mount Zion in heaven. If you follow the context, which I don't have time to read all the passage. But you're come unto Mount Zion, unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to the God and to God the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. To me, he's saying very clearly there that in heaven are the spirits of just men made perfect. And he's talking to the Hebrews. So I believe that paradise was emptied out. Hell hath enlarged itself, the scripture says, I think in the book of Isaiah. And I think that all of the saints are presently in the third heaven. I would not say that the kingdom saints are still in the heart of the earth awaiting resurrection. They will be resurrected into their kingdom on earth, but I'm saying is after the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, I think they're all up there, and I think Hebrews 12 makes that clear. And there are other passages that I think prove that as well. All right, let's pray. Father, thank you.